So someone told me that you said if one of the promoters voted for me to be Rookie of the Year, it would be kind of like wasting a vote. We had a big Michigan pay gate. <laughs> it was a pay gate scandal. Me? I right. will say that somebody <laughs> hit me up in the DM. Oh, no. Who may or may not watch the show. And um, they said, you and Max are not going to talk shit about me on your podcast, are you? And I just said, wow. PayPal. And PayPal not oh, working. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a Hit me big... up on that cash app, though. Oh, uh, yeah. At Ray Ray. Um, <laughs> oh, my fucking what? God. God <laughs> What? How many tickets will it sell? Oh, <laughs> Coming back as Pro Wrestling All Stars 2.0, Steve Rivera cares, and he is actually promoting the show. I was at. And since he cares, he does not want to book us. <laughs> That's true. That's true. So, I you know, how many tickets do you think Steve versus the Spider would sell? And, uh, the Spider deleted Steve. Oh, damn. Yes. Damn, so that's how his Pro Wrestling All Stars run comes to an end. The greatest. Pro Wrestling All Stars champion of In all history. time deleted the promoter of Pro Wrestling All Stars. You hate to see it. I wouldn't classify matches I've had with him as bangers because, like, fuck it. You want me to be completely honest because I can be completely fucking honest. Sure. All right. A lot of the matches I had with him were like, going back to the topic of bangers, right? Uh huh. Grizzly Pro just passed. Yes. And you know there were there were. I would say a good amount of good matches on that show. We get to Davison versus Eddie Dillon. Very built up match. Yes, love both of these two. Love Eddie Dillon, love Davison. I don't know Eddie Dillon. Hey, here comes Soul Taker around and he leads in close to me and he says, that first match was bad and I bust out fucking laughing. Oh, oh, brother. And Eddie Dillon walks <laughs> He, he gets up and he walks away and I felt so fucking bad, but Brother. it was so fucking funny. <laughs> so Wrestling for 15 years on the indies isn't an accomplishment. And I guess some people felt a certain type of way about that. <laughs> I mean, some people wrestle for fun, some people wrestle to be on TV. I, yeah. I, I want to get on TV, personally. I mean, like, are you wrestling for fun or are you wrestling to get on TV? If you see a girl at a show, really, you should respect everyone. But, like, just yeah. assume she's with a wrestler. Yeah. Right. They're Let's also not entitled to anything from you. Yeah. Like, they can just exist without having to, like, talk to you. Yeah. Don't so, like, I, I got, I don't know if it's called heat. Because it was just, like, one person that hated me. It was trying to get me black balls. It's like, Give me to stop wrestling. Well, they had, that caused a lot of people to dislike you because they were told not to like Exactly. You. Uh, people were literally told not to like me, don't book him, all this stuff. And I remember for like months coming in all these, like coming to all these shows and like we had, there was people in your class that didn't like me and they made it known that they didn't like me at every single locker room. So every single locker room I went into, I felt like I wasn't wanted there and like, so I remember just being down on myself for a majority of the time. My guy, I'm so happy. I am so happy for all the success that you got. And uh, <laughs> it caused me to have an anxiety, my first ever anxiety attack in wrestling. After I had my singles match with him, I literally thought that I sucked at wrestling because of how much pain I was in after that match and how blown up I was. I honestly, it felt like, like I was just like, oh my God, this guy is so good and so fast and just everything he does is so good. And I, I fucking suck. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. And I was like, holy fuck. Yeah, there's levels to this shit because like I wasn't even thinking about any of what he was talking about before he like brought it up. Killing the business.